Good morning everybody. Well, I did not think I was going to be out on the bike this morning. I thought I was going to have to be on Zwift indoors. On the turbo, as we used to say. So, um, we've got Storm Georgia coming in today. Third weekend, third storm in the row. So it's meant to be bad from about 11 o'clock. So it's relatively early. Half eight, and I'm heading out just up the course. I'm doing two hours today, two hours easy. I've got a tailwind, the tide's out today. So, yeah, I'm heading up the coast, and then um, I'm going to come back inland again. Slightly different than I did last Sunday, but I'm still not right. This is like third weekend I've been rough so I would say that yesterday was a rest day and I just went for a walk yesterday did a few jobs had to go into town went to the tip stuff like that you know just I was only in town five minutes but I just lazed around yesterday and today I'd say I feel worse than I did yesterday it's bonkers anyway um, so I might just two hours easy today, we'll see how we are after today. If I'm feeling better tomorrow, I'll do three hours tomorrow. Only if I'm feeling better. So yeah, just got tailwind, so I'm just it's like recovery, effort, no efforts, no strenuous stuff. Just getting out on the bike. I've not been up here when the tide's that far out. But yeah, I did not think I was going to be out vlogging this morning. So that's good. Heading sort of just before still off and turning back. then after this afternoon something like that I'm gonna to have to wash this bike and um, fit those new brake blocks aboard because the rear I've already got it on maximum adjustment and the brake lever is hitting the bars so the worn out but yeah look at that headset needs adjusting again as well can you hear it rattling? It's nice to be out. I know that I've been up here quite a bit with you on the vlog, but because I'm not well, I'm not going inland. I'm not doing hilly hilly, which is what I wanted to do today. I wanted to go and do 50 miles hilly, but no, not today. I'm getting really frustrated with this illness. But hey, I've still got plenty of time before the thread. I just need to get better. So, what else? There's not a lot else, really, at the minute. Right, I'll speak to you in a bit. There we go. I know what else. I've remembered what else. So, I think last weekend, or maybe a vlog before, I said about my cleats needing to be moved on my winter boots well the left one I've had a look the left one's already about as far back as it'll go but the right foot the cleat was a little bit further forward so I've moved it to the same as the left I've moved it about three millimeters back and it feels right now and also I don't know whether you'll be able to see, we'll zoom you in. There's snow on the hills in the lakes. This is Allenby. So 
so this is where I turned off a couple of times recently but I'm going straight on today so the wind's sort of coming in from my left a bit here that feels a bit flooded now the question is is it a field or is it a lake? <laughs> good road this apart from the bit just back there where the sea comes across so you have to ride through a big puddle that's probably salt water which isn't good for your bike or your kit nice tailwind at the minute and it's flattish, pretty flat the wind off the sea can be a bit of a pain though so it's busy again today I see on here a lot of cars oh there's one coming behind and there's one in front like I said, busy today Ah, the one behind's turned off and this is a B road <laughs> There are people about, walking dogs and whatnot so there's lots of little car parks on the coast all the way up here and um, most of them have got a car in and there'll be people walking the dogs along the beach in the morning particularly with the tide being out because a lot of them aren't really very safe when the tide's in because it does crash over but yeah I want to sort an FCC group ride up this road but at the minute it's just trying to decide where to start and keep the distance down but seeing the good bits as well so at the minute the route I've got is about 100k which it's not that hilly it's flat a lot of it good half of it if not three quarters is flat like this um, so I think it's doable as a hundred K the problem is it's the start is I think it's best to come this way so you get the prevailing wind behind you and then back in land where you're a bit sheltered bit of a trek to get to the start it's off the beaten track it's like 40 minutes off the M6 I mean it's a good road but anyway I'm working on it right that's still off in the distance so there's lots of big puddles today can you see this puddle because it is so quiet I can just come right over the other side not an issue, nothing behind. I can certainly smell the salt water. But yeah, I mean, I'm probably, I don't know what speed I'm doing. I've got to be doing nearly 20 miles an hour. I've done 15 kilometers and it's 26 minutes. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to pay for it. That's all right. So I think the route today is 49 kilometers. And um, I've done a third of it nearly. Only half an hour, and I'm out two hours. Right. I'll see you later. starting to think about replacing my Profeto because the wind, like when it's windy like this, which it is a lot up here does come through so I've got a base layer on a thick winter jumper jumper long sleeve 
because I sweat, but then that's just helped combat the wind coming through. So the wind got me then. That was gross. Um, See, so I'm thinking of getting something more up to date because I've probably had this two years now. Right, car. So we've got a big puddle. I'll go through the shallow bit, which is on this side. I know it's shallow because you can see the lines. Rough. That's the worst it's been so far with me coming down or coming up this road. So I'm just talking to you while I'm in this sheltered hedgerow bit because I've turned in land and the wind is a bit of a handful now. I mean, hang on. Um, it's coming in from my right, and of course it's blowing across. And where it's open, I'm trying to take the bike and the front wheel, so I'm really having to lean into it. Um, I've got a CXP33 on the front, 32 all spoke. If I'd got, you know, a 50 mil deep or something like that, it'd be a nightmare. This is bad enough. But yeah, it's hard into the wind. <laughs> Knew it would be. We're heading for Espatria now. So this bit of road I've done a few times, a couple of times. And then we're heading a bit where we were last week. Still cooks, I think, and back towards Deal. But the sun even came out briefly, it's not meant to. So you'll notice today I've got different glasses on. These are my Galibier um, Ardennes glasses, I think. I think that's what they're called. And of course, hang on, Galibier cap, I've quite often got that on. Well, in the winter I've always got it on, it's my maestro cap. Keep the wind out. I think since I've bought it, I've just worn it all the time. Right, uphill I need to change gear. I better put you away. So I hope you can hear me through the wind. I have got a wind buff, wind muff, sorry, on the camera. But whether it's working because of the strength of this wind or not, I don't know. But it is pretty relentless coming back. Um, sun's still in and out. So the storm is meant to hit from about 11am onwards. It's meant to be about 20, 25 mile an hour wind up to now and then a lot higher later. Up to 70 mile an hour I think tonight. Early hours of tomorrow. I've now done, getting up to an hour and a half and I've done 40k, so 25 miles I've got half an hour left and 5 miles on the route so I'm probably going to have to extend it a little bit So next I'm into Deerham and then I'm just going to go just to Broughton Mall and then turn right and go back to Mountainport but I think I will go to Broughton Mall and then head down towards Workington on the road on the top of the hill in the wind all the way down and then pick up see what we're doing for time but I might pick up the course road and turn and come back or just turn around and come back but then I'll have a tailwind and it'll blow me back for the final bit but yeah it's a bit, a bit much a bit of a nuisance and I'm sort of cold because it is blowing through. Right, we're still not air and half yet, but at least the sun's out. So I should have put my um, Sirocco Photochrome mix on. I picked these up because it was really dull this morning. They're all right. It's not too bright, there's just a few bits where I've been into the sun that I could have done with the sunglasses. Right. So, lots of the daffodils aren't out yet, but some are. So probably next weekend maybe. I said before, we need a bit of sun. 
bit of warmth and the will be out right I need to put you down because I need both hands on the bar so this is getting windy so I'm just stopping here very briefly I've just been through Broughton Moor and then behind me is the corner of what I've said before is or was an old open cast mine which it was but then from I can't remember the exact date but definitely post World War II it was uh, an ammunition dump for the Royal Navy for a very long time it was decommissioned in about the 90s and sold off to the Borough Council for a pound in the 2000s so it's got lots of very strange buildings uh, which is why I couldn't figure out what was going on with it being an old mine and when you look at the map there's lots of old buildings that look like an ammunition type place from the others that I've seen on maps and that I know that are it's used by the Americans at one point and then they used to fly the armaments in and out by helicopter apparently to ships in the Solway Firth I read on the internet right so it's nice weather at the minute there's the windmills going round I'm just going to drop down here into Flimby and go back along the front and then I should have about two hours I've got one hour 59 so one hour 49 one hour 50 now um, so I need 10 minutes so I'm going to carry back now so I'll see you later Can you see the sea? It's not so bad today, it's fairly clear. So there we go, we're nearly back. Fucking Maryport, the tip and all the other sort of council type places on that side. Glass, and this is called. Um, just ran around a bit. <coughs> yeah, I've done an hour and 58. I've just done a bit along the main road with the tailwind absolutely flying along. So, no traffic came past me, which was good. Um, so, it's nice now. I know at the start that I said I feel worse today than I did yesterday, but. I felt like I got going then, I've actually, legs have felt okay, so maybe I am on the mend. Yeah, we're back here, so yesterday I went for a bit of a walk and walked over that blue bridge and up that hill, and that hill used to be a mot, so there used to be a little castle on that hill, and there used to be shipyards here and they used to launch sideways into the river which is very low at the minute Whoa. wind just took me and then we're at the bottom of the hill there there used to be a paper mill and a rope making thing apparently that's what it says on all the signs so as always thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed it hope you've enjoyed some of the scenery we're just coming up to two hours so i don't know when we'll be next out on the bike in the next vlog but i'll see you in the next one please do subscribe if you haven't already and um, thanks for subscribing and thank you for comments and see you later